Breaking news today for the 1st of April, I've just spoken to the National Grid and Grid National and if you have an electric car and woke up this morning and found out that you had less charge than you started with last night when you plugged in, that's due to the wrong type of wind which is that one in a thousand year occurrence that happened last night and today we're going to be discussing what exactly that means and why it's not just affected Europe but most of the USA as well as most of South America. Now this issue doesn't just affect electric car owners, it's also affected anyone with grid side storage systems. So if you have a grid side storage battery in your house and also massive grid side storage that are soaking up the excess wind energy normally, they've all been affected by this weird wind occurrence that happened last night. So last night wind turbines were going swish swoosh instead of swash swish and what basically meant that the turbines and the wind were going in a polar opposite direction. Now I've got the technical terms for this. This meant that the knuckle and the wind fane couldn't cope and the gearboxes were forced to spin in an opposite polar direction to what they normally spin. So instead of EV owners waking up with full batteries or people with home storage batteries waking up with fully stored batteries from the cheap energy last night from the wind, what they were waking up with is empty batteries and depleted home storage units because the opposite effect of this polar direction of the wind turbine meant that the power was effectively being sucked out of the national grid because it wasn't going the right way when they were spinning. Now this is a really rare phenomenon. I've spoken to people at the Met uh, National Grid and all the other weather experts and they said that this is a very, very rare occurrence. However, global warming does mean that we will see more of this. Now, it's worth noting that I've checked all the major papers and all the major naysaying papers like the Daily Mail who love to print a negative EV story. Now, at the moment, as the time of this video goes out, they haven't picked up on this story. Let's just hope that they don't get wind of this story and print it in all the papers for tomorrow. Thank you very, very much for watching this week's video. Happy April the 1st, and I'll see you again next week. Goodbye.